Willkommen zurück bei Zurück in die Zukunft. So, wir müssen jetzt erstmal mit dem alten Doc wieder reden, glaube ich. Äh, wir sind wohl ein paar Tage zu spät hier angekommen, um das alles zu verhindern. Mal gucken, ob wir das irgendwie noch gerade bügeln können. Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip-off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits. Now, the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in the Cenozoic Age. Oh, oh, oh worse. The mess is over. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you Impossible. out of... Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna? Where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. Oh, it's a few months too late. Oops. Also, muss ich Edna jetzt äh, ein bisschen manipulieren, damit die nicht mehr auf den Emmet steht. Okay. You were right. There she is. My soon-to-be ex-future wife is nothing if not predictable. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh. I'll talk to her. <laughs> you better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey, you! Quit blocking the drive! All car of the future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Why not? Good luck! Ja, okay. Uh, was gibt's denn hier Schönes? Come see the cars of the future. Brought to you by Statler de Soto. I shouldn't go anywhere until I've talked to Edna. Ach so, okay. Im Doc brauche ich jetzt, glaube ich, nicht, oder? Hat er noch was zu sagen? What does she have to say? Edna? Oh, I, I haven't talked to her yet. Well, what are you waiting for? We need to get those kids separated. Yeah, yeah, I go schon. Steuerung. Wenn man die Kamera wechselt, muss man in die andere Richtung lenken. So, wer ist er denn? Arthur? Und ich spreche mit Edna. Spell it. B R O W N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love. Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. Mr. Callahan, you do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? Das hat mir schon mal wer gesagt, eben. Okay. Ja, das sage ich hier nicht direkt. I need to... Whatever it is, I hope you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh... Have you seen Emmett? Uh... Yeah, just now, in the town square. Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> yeah. 
Hmm. I don't get it. I mean, Emmett's nice and all, but he's not exactly the kind of guy that has girls swarming all over him. Well, I'm not your average girl. Yeah, but... I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Callahan, but I can take care of myself. I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. Missed? Ahem. <clears throat> You said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes. What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Callahan. You know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Uh, just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? <laughs> Yeah. What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities, what he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course! What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. Hm, hm. Vielleicht muss ich das dann messen irgendwie? Wie das Ding beschaffen und messen? Auch die Messung manipulieren? Dass das scheiße aussieht, das gemessen. Keine Ahnung, ich äh, weiß es noch nicht genau. Hm. You say you know Emmett is a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. Oh God, die glaubt nur, was das Gerät ihr sagt. Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girls, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but... When he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. Hmm. This one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. <laughs> Scheiße. Emmett's done a lot of shady things in his time. My vice principal warned me to stay away from him. Your vice principal sounds like a dolt. Good, um. So you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. <laughs> settling down? You know, ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking. Nein, die glaubt mir auch gar nicht. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh... Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I 
I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Callahan. Okay, jetzt habe ich ihn. Uh, jetzt habe ich alles That's befragt. That's all the questions I got. Very well then. Ah, da hey, ist die. Audie. You see my Orioli? You mean this? Yeah, thanks. Hey. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Okay. Hey, Artie. Officer. Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Dann halt nicht. Hey, Ach, sie steht auch noch me. da. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds. Ja, ja. Piss dir nicht ins Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, nope. Der Typ ist kacke. Den mag ich nicht. Ah, Trixie. Ich rede jetzt mit Trixie. Mm -mm. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Oh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Audie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Ah. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. Come on in here. Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? It's me. Audie says it's all bread and circuses. But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. Oh, Blondie. <laughs> How's Kid's trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Nothing. It's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about turning them in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with them in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? So, yep. Artie's working for the Expo, too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell. The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The Expo's darn lucky they could get him. Okay. So, it's just no more fraud? What's Artie's job? Oh, he's a real high muckety-muck at the Expo. He's in charge of all the money, and the hiring and firing. Hey, not bad. You're telling me, and super respectable too. It's a real relief for him to have a job where the boss never pulls a gun on him. Na gut. It's good to see that you and Artie are both doing okay. Oh, we're more than okay. And if things keep going the way they're going, we may be more than just friends before you know it. Well, don't get too serious too fast. Nah, we're keeping things casual for now. Good. I'm sure Grandma will appreciate that. <lacht> ja, das hab ich schon. Listen, Nimm mal I've das. got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's got to resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. 
Ah. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni News of Progress. Na gut, versuch was er wird. Ich kann sie doch mal äh, drauf ansprechen. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So... Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. Ach, du blöde Muse. So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So you work for the expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests. And on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. Mm -hmm. Techni, Muse of Progress. Not a bad gig. Adi got it for me. It's my entree into respectability. Alles klar, ich glaube, die haben wir auch fertig ausgefragt. See you, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. Ja, 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 alles gut. Um, ich konnte hier noch irgendwas machen. Da. Ah, der lässt mich da noch nicht rein, der Sack. Lastwagen. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Okay, hier kann ich nichts... Um, hol mir mal einen Tipp. Trixie wird dir nicht helfen, solange Edna hier nichts getan hat. Ich kann Ednas natürliche Gemeinheit in eine produktive Richtung gelenkt werden, wenn man mit ihr über Trixie spricht. Oh ja. Da hätte ich die einfach nochmal anlauern müssen. Dann mache ich das noch mal. Back again, Mr. Callahan? What can I help you with? I was thinking. Kann man die nämlich die Frauen gegenseitig aufhetzen? I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume. She's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. Hmm. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's all the okay. questions I got. Very well then. 
How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! <lacht> so steht der denn jetzt da hinten am Truck eigentlich? Warte mal. Ich bin da gerade da stehen sehen. Mit diesen komischen Typen hier. Wie heißt denn der nochmal? Q-Ball. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez. This guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Aber Leute, äh, kleiner Cut jetzt und morgen sprechen wir dann mit Q-Ball. Bis dann.